So AMD has officially announced the 6600 XT, which is supposed to be a mid-range card competing with the RTX 3060. But you're not going to believe the price, and is this going to be the end of affordable GPUs? Let's talk about what's going on. So today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you're a creative person, somebody who's curious, a lifelong learner, Skillshare is a great way in one place to get different classes in order to just grow as a person, as a creative. If you guys watch me here on YouTube, I do all sorts of tutorials, builds, and likewise on Skillshare. Definitely a great place where I've learned how to hone my skills from product photography. Every time I put up a really cool looking computer to product videos, there's a lot of great creators on Skillshare. For example, I've taken the class by YC Imaging and they give you a lot of great filmmaking principles, things that I've applied to this very YouTube channel and Skillshare is a fantastic way to go about doing this. You'll get unlimited access to thousands of classes and you get great feedback from the community and even better news, it's actually really affordable and the first 1,000 people to go to my link below will get a free trial of their premium membership. That way you can explore. They have so many different categories. And let me know what you guys think down below. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to subscribe and smash that like button. Go ahead, please do it now. If you do, you probably won't get any cheaper GPUs, but at least I got a little bit happier. All right, so let's talk about today's subject. Specifically, it's the AMD Radeon 6600 XT. Now, they released last year the 68 to the 6900 XT. All were pretty pleasantly received because their performance was actually on par with a lot of the high-end NVIDIA GPUs, such as the 3080 and even the 3090 in the case of the 6900 XT. Some things like ray tracing, which AMD is little by little catching up with some of these technologies, are things that we're going to have to see on the high end who ends up winning out. For now, NVIDIA certainly has a little bit of a lead in terms of ray tracing and some things like that, but AMD has certainly put up a very impressive showing. So now, finally, almost a year after all of these GPUs came out, we're starting to see what is considered the mid-range to maybe the little bit lower tier of these GPUs. Now, the bad news is the pricing has really gotten considerably out of hand, and now there isn't any one thing you can blame on this. There are certainly various, various things that happened, all the way from manufacturing to, you know, cryptocurrency mining to the loss of availability of RAM that goes in these type of GPUs, specifically the VRAM. Everything with GDDR6 has gotten more expensive, so the AMD 6600 XT is going to have an MSRP of $379. First, why is $379 too much? Well, last generation, the 5600 XT was around $100 cheaper. That's considerably less expensive. The 5700 XT, which was actually the flagship model, was $399, so very close in performance and price to the current 6600 XT, and we're talking about around two years later. So if we look around what else is in the market, the RTX 3060, 329 is the supposed MSRP, even though they've been selling for between $700 to $900, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. So 329 appears to be where you're going to be able to get a newer generation GPU, and it's going to be sort of what you can consider the, the mid-range, or at least the upper of sort of the lower tier GPUs. Now, the 6600 XT exists somewhere between the 3060 and 3060 Ti. I imagine that's why they priced the MSRP right in between both. As we know, the 3060 Ti goes for a little bit around, you know, $399 in terms of the original MSRP. So while the 6600 XT does appear that it's going to perform better than the 3060, I still think it's priced just way too high at $379. This is a GPU that realistically really should be around $299 for it to be competitive in the normal market. But there is where everything goes out the window. Like I said, this is not a normal market. We're probably going to see this GPU for probably twice its MSRP, as we've been seeing with basically everything else. The 6700 XT, which is more like a 3070 level GPU, regularly goes for eight to $900. Some models even reached $1,000. That's pretty crazy because that's what the 6900 XT should have been. That, of course, is AMD's flagship GPU. So 
So you have a 6700 XT with that type of pricing that shows you how off everything is in the current market. And now budget gamers and people that want to get into that mid range are going to be paying the price quite literally. 379 for a 6600 XT. I mean, if you could actually find it for that MSRP, it's probably not a bad deal, but a starting price of 379 MSRP typically indicates a much higher street price as we've seen with experience. Probably you could figure at least twice the MSRP. So you may see this GPU well around like 700, maybe 650 to, you know, the 750 range, something like that, when you see it actually from the third party AIB partners and on the secondhand market. So if the price is a little bit high let's put that aside what's that going to mean for sort of the availability of this gpu now one interesting thing this is actually going to be the navi 23 not 22 like the previous one so there are some changes supposedly this is going to make this gpu maybe a little bit easier to manufacture meaning that hopefully there's a chance that there are going to be a lot more available even though 379 is high for a gpu of this caliber considering everything that's going on in the market if you could actually find it for 379 it really ends up being not a bad deal because in terms of performance amd has said that this is going to be really an ultimate 1080p card much like the 3060 and 3060 ti are supposed to be the 3070 may be more geared towards like 1440p so amd provided various numbers of popular games like shadow of the tomb raider assassin's creed playing at sort of the maximum settings at 1080p and the performance certainly seems to be very impressive you get pretty much very high fps even if you're gaming on like a 240 hertz monitor 144 hertz will be pretty easy for most games especially esports games where you really want to get the maximum amount of fps you're going to pretty much be able to do it with the 6600 xt now given that amd is directing this gpu towards 1080p gamers i mean aside from the price being a little bit salty if the way that they manufacture this particular GPU means that they can actually handle making more of them, it could end up being pretty popular. If you look at AMD GPUs in sort of their profitability when it comes to crypto mining, most people, you know, that's going to be their second or ter third choice. Generally, they're going to want an NVIDIA GPU like a 3070 or 3080, which in general is going to be a little bit more efficient, give you a better performance. So the AMD GPUs like this, like a 6600 XT, Maybe it's not going to be as popular in that particular segment of the market, much like the light hash rate LHR GPUs that NVIDIA released. Maybe that will open up more of these GPUs for the gamer to buy. And if it's going to be 1080p, that's really going to open a lot of that sort of mid-range market up. And if they can produce more of these, if it's an easier GPU to produce, hopefully that could actually start to affect the price of other GPUs like the 6700 XT or the 6800. If a lot of people get their hands on this GPU and they're happy at 1080p, maybe that might lessen demand for sort of the higher range GPUs. Unless you want to play at 4K or something like that, you most likely don't really need a 6800 XT or a 6900 XT. So it could alleviate some of that market stress. So who knows? We're going to have to see when this comes out. We're going to see if there are any differences, if people can actually find them a little bit easier. Then if they can, that 379 price, even though it's kind of like not really ideal, we kind of have to just say it is what it is now with all of these shortages. And I've seen that, you know, like we mentioned the VRAM for these GPUs, quarter over quarter has gotten more expensive for the third party AIB partners to produce and to have. So there certainly are a lot of things going on that indicate just more expensive pricing. And I think most likely the trend will continue into next year. We're probably never going to see cheap GPUs again, at least not for the next several years until either PC gaming or crypto mining really die down considerably, which at this point, it doesn't look like any of those two are going to happen, at least not to a massive drastic effect. Now, there are some murmurs that perhaps ETH is going to start to change within the next year or two. But until that happens, and if something else doesn't replace it, we really do have to wait and see what exactly what's going on. So finally, is this a GPU that you should get? Now, if you have an older generation GPU, I mean, this is going to be, you know, a little bit better than a 3060. It's going to perform, of course, better than an older like 1080 or something like that. So if you have an older GPU, less powerful, maybe like a 1060 or a 1070, and if you can fit it in your budget and 
find it for close to MSRP. I think it's going to be really not that bad of a GPU if you're going to be playing at 1080p. Performance seems really, really good. If you compare it to the 3060, it will perform better. And in most cases, the 3060, even though it has a lower MSRP, may actually end up being more expensive in the real world market just because the people still use it for mining. It still has some workarounds that aren't completely locked. So you may see the 6600 XT maybe for sale at a better price than other NVIDIA GPUs that it's comparing to. All right, guys, so let me know what you think of this GPU? Is it something that's going to perform great at 1080p for the price? Are you considering the you know MSRP too expensive, or do you think hopefully that it's not going to be as expensive in the actual real world compared to whatever else we're seeing? Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.